Good morning, folks. We'll begin with the alert posted to spaceweathernews.com last night. We have a strong shockwave warning in effect until 8 p.m. Eastern tonight. That's midnight UTC. Of the flurry of large C and M-class events yesterday, none were as significant as the one we witnessed in the news yesterday. Center disk, big blast, full halo CME, definitely Earth-directed. Keeping that in mind while we come to the solar wind, you'll remember we had two other CMEs already on the way, and here they are. First one, easy to see there. Then a bit of data dropout, but the backup showed nothing further took place until this morning. That's the second shockwave impact we expected over on the right, slightly weaker than the first, but their effects were still additive. The smooth calm of the GOES magnetometer and the electron flux has been erased in favor of large jolts and dropout events. But worst of all is the radiation. Earth has now jumped into a level 2 radiation storm. Website members remember this was the storm level where the U.S. government's analysis said high-latitude airline flyers are at a small risk for cancer. All DRAPs are lit up, and the third CME may take us even higher. Thus far, the geomagnetic effects have been minor, but then again, that third CME lingers in the forecast. And here's the cause for the alert. NASA's Enlil Spiral shows high density and a 36-hour arrival time tonight. We just saw this thing erupt yesterday morning. NOAA's Enlil Spiral agrees. When we're talking kill shot, it would need to be less than one day arrival time for a CME, but less than two is still very significant, and if it's this dense, my eyes are open. Just a bit of info. These aren't exact. I literally scribbled this in the last few minutes just to explain some speed predictions. A CME that arrives in one day has an average speed of more than 1,600 kilometers per second and arrives at Earth a little bit slower than that depending on the spread and initial burst away from the sun. So the left side is average speed and obviously it's slowing down by the time it reaches Earth so arrival speed will be slightly slower. NASA and NOAA predict us to be between the one and two day mark. Speed could be in excess of 800 kilometers per second with densities of 30, 50, or more. Like I said, a kill shot would be faster, but this could still cause minor disruption. Satellites, internet, cell phones, GPS, avionics, communications, electronics, anything at all could see some minor effects if the CME arrives on time. The watch ends at 8 p.m. tonight, or therefore the alert ends at 8 p.m., because if it comes after that, it will have been a bit slower and the effects are likely to be lessened. I happen to think it will be a bit slower, but hey, when NASA and NOAA both call a 36-hour CME event, I gotta say something, right? Otherwise, what am I doing here? Flaring could continue today with delta class magnetism in the big earth facing sunspot up north delta all along that convergence line we actually may have had another small cme from a surge just to the right of the sunspot group it would be minor and i do think it's mostly an intra sun event it is pretty though and Earth-facing coronal holes still have only moderate power, so we stay right about average or slightly above when it comes to seismicity. We took our second six-pointer in Fiji in a couple days. USGS downgraded it, but that's still a potential foreshock signal we'll watch today. Anyway, back to our three Earth spots over here, each drawing inward and creating the wettest days of 2015 for this region of the world over the last week or so. The far eastern system has typhoon warnings as it is charging north towards China now. Over in the United States, we'll have severe alerts again as this system will bring its convergence slightly eastward by sunset. Great Lakes areas in for severe weather tonight. Over in Europe, the strongest storm is still offshore, top left, but the convergence connecting it to one on land will bring the top weather alerts this evening. Clouds rolling right along that curve there. Much of the same story as yesterday down under. That one convergence has left New Zealand, although it's still sticking close by. And the other system dances in slowly, keeping close watch over his flock of clouds. Regulator. We've got the current conditions and shots of our star to close. We're at a level 2 radiation storm. Plasma shockwave impact expected tonight. It's 6.20 a.m. Eastern Time and here comes the sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.